Hello, hello, awesome people. Mr. C here, super pumped you are continuing this whole number multiplication series with us. Today we are focusing on the fifth grade standard, specifically jumping into the standard algorithm. An algorithm that has been used for countless years. That's what we're going to be going over today. Let me show you the learning targets and the standards. Here are the common core standards and still in Missouri. So there's the Missouri learning standard as well. Notice both of them talk about being able to multiply multi-digit whole numbers. All right, especially common core it talks about using that standard algorithm. So let's get into it. Make sure you click the subscribe button if you want to know when new videos are getting posted. Love to see more and more people join us on this math learning journey. Whether you are a teacher or a student or you're just somebody that likes to do a little math on the side, I love it. Thanks for being here. So I told you a little bit earlier, I will be dropping the fourth grade and the third grade links so that way you can j jump in on those, especially if you want to see the learning progression for how multiplication works. So keep an eye out for that. Click on and watch those videos. They are super helpful as well. So with that being said, let's jump into our first problem. Here we are, first problem today, we're gonna to have 26 times 18. And this problem, we're going to be solving these today with the standard algorithm. And before I jump into it, first thing I wanna make sure, like I say in every video, make sure you have the right mindset going into this. You need a growth mindset to be really successful in math. And what I mean by that is come into this being okay with challenging yourself. Be okay with not understanding something right away. Okay, be okay with making mistakes. That is a great way to learn is by making mistakes. So I'm super pumped you're here. Watch this video if you need to more than one time. Figure out where you're making your mistakes because if you can figure out where to make, you're making your mistakes, you're going to be able to solve any problem. All right, all, talk, all we talk about is being able to have the right mindset. If you have that, you're going to be good to go. So standard algorithm, let's set it up. Let me change my colors. Let's go with a nice orange, feeling orange today. So we have the problem 26 times 18. All right, here we go. So if you're watching this video and you have anybody that you know that is older than you, a mom, dad, aunt, uncle, grandma, grandpa, brother and sister, anybody that's older than you, you ask them to solve this problem, I guarantee you this is probably the way they're going to solve it, and it's probably the only way they know how to solve it. Nothing wrong with that at all, but I do want to point out, watch my area model video. I'll put a link in here as well. Watch it because it helps you kind of understand a different way to multiply. And I always tell students, it's always great to know more than one way to solve a multiplication problem. All right, it's always a great strategy. No more than one way to solve a math problem. It's great. So here we go. First thing you're going to do here is take a look at this eight. This eight is in the ones place. And so what we're gonna do with this eight is we are going to multiply eight times six. All right, eight times six. So eight times six is 48. So I put an eight here and I'm not gonna put the four right next to it. All right, we're not going to do that. What we're going to do is we're actually going to take this 4 and carry it and regroup over here because we're only going to put 6 times 8, 48. 8 goes here. The 4 is going to go up there. All right, let me show you why. The next thing we're going to do is 8 times 2. But in reality, we're doing 8 times 20. All right, because this 2 here is in the tens place. So that means we have two tens. So eight times two would be 16. And now we're going to add this four. What's 16 plus four? Well, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So what we have just done is we have taken eight times 26. Okay, 8 times 26 gives you 208. All right, that's what we're doing. We're not trying to multiply everything at one time. You just got to break it down into different steps. 
all right? So I always mark out the numbers I have up here because if I don't, I will make mistakes. That is something I've learned about myself. I have to mark it out or I'll make a mistake. Next thing you're going to do, we are about to multiply by this ones place. Excuse me, by this one. This one is in the tens place. For us to multiply in the tens place, though, we need to have something in the ones place down here. And I'm going to be putting a zero here and calling that the placeholder. All right, that's a placeholder for us because we're not multiplying by the ones place value anymore. We're multiplying by the tens place value. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This right here, we're going to do 10 times 6. That's technically what we're going to do is 10 times 6. Well, what I want you to think of is go 1 times 6. What's 1 times 6? Well, 1 times 6 is 6. All right. Next, what you're going to do, we did 1 times 6. Last thing we need to multiply is 1 times the 2. And in reality, that is 10 times 20 is what we're doing. 1 times 2 equals 2. And we are getting a 2 right here. All right. Because if you go with 10 times 26, you're going to get the answer of 260. If you don't believe me, try it out on the side. Over on the side, do 26 times 10. Try that out right there and see if I'm right. Okay, So 26 times 10, we got 260. Last thing we need to do is add this up because we have two different sets of numbers. We need to add them up to get our final product. So don't make a mistake here. Take your time. Go through it slowly. I have students that usually fly through this part and they're like, dang, Mr. C, I'm kicking butt. I'm doing great. And I'm like, heck yeah, you are. Let me see your answer. And then they show me their answer and I'm like, yo, 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 slow down. Like it ain't, it ain't a race. Don't make a mistake in your adding. Slow down. Okay. Add the ones up. That gives us eight. Add the tens up, that gives us six. Add the hundreds up, that gives us four. And we get a final answer of 468. All right. Take a look at this problem. Watch this problem over again if you need to. Ask yourself where are you making mistakes, where are you confused at, what doesn't make sense. Just look at the problem, and then let's take a look at problem number two. All right, second problem. Let's go through this one. So second problem I have for us today is 347 times 56. So I'm going to set this problem up just like I did in the last one, standard algorithm here. So I'm going to have 347 times 56. So kind of a large multiplication problem here. But what you're going to find out is if you can just learn the steps and figure out the process, you're going to be able to solve these types of problems. And I'm going to kind of walk us through this one. Again, pause it, watch it again, try it on your own. Be okay with making mistakes. Be okay with the challenge. Let's see how we do here. So the first things first is we are going to be multiplying. We are going to be multiplying 6 times 7. That's the first thing we're going to do, okay? Multiplying the ones place values. So 6 times 7 is 42. So the 2 is going to stay there, and I am going to carry and regroup this 4 into the tens column, all right? Next, we're going to multiply 6 times 40. All right, because this 4 is in the tens place. So we're technically multiplying 6 times 40. Well, I know what 6 times 4 is. 6 times 4 is 24, plus 4 is going to be 28. So I put the 8 there, and I'm going to carry and regroup the 2 into the hundreds place. And watch what I'm about to do with this 4. I'm going to mark it out. Okay, if I don't mark it out, it'll mess me up later. I promise it happens to me all the time if I'm going too fast. So I did 6 times 7. I did 6 times 4. 
What do you think I need to multiply 6 by next? Hopefully you're thinking to yourself, 6 times 3, and you're exactly right. We're going to do 6 times 300, because that 3 is in the hundreds place value. So 6 times 3, I know that off the top of my head, that's 18, plus 2 is going to be 20. And notice, I am going to write 20 right here. And the reason I do that is because there's nothing left for me to multiply this 6 by. I did 6 times 7, 6 times 4, and 6 times 3. There's nothing left for me to multiply this 6 by. So because of that, the last number you multiply by, you have to make sure when you add the regrouped that you have up here, you're going to write out the whole problem. Okay, So 6 times 3 is 18, plus 2 is 20, and that's how I got the 20 there. Okay. I'm going to mark out this 2, because if not, it'll throw me off. All right, um, let's see. I say I change colors here. All right, maybe I'll keep track of things a little bit better. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 5, which is 50, and multiply it. But before I can do that, I'm about to be multiplying by a different place value. I'm not multiplying by the 1s anymore. I'm multiplying by the 10s place value. And because of that, I have to put a placeholder here. Let me write that a little bit higher up. All right, I have to put a placeholder here. Okay, that placeholder is telling me I'm not multiplying by the ones anymore. I'm multiplying by the tens. Okay, so here we go. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to do 50 times 7. Okay, 50 times 7. Well, I know what 5 times 7 is because 5 times 7 is 35. So I put a 5 here and Look where I put the 3. I'm carrying and regrouping that 3 into the tens place column. All right. Now I'm going to do 50 times 40. 50 times 40. In reality, though, you can just say 5 times 4 because I know what 5 times 4 is. 5 times 4 is 20 plus 3 is 23. So the 3 is going to go here. And I've got to put a 2 up here because I got 23. Bar. I have to regroup and carry it over. So there we go. Now, I need to do one last thing of multiplication. Now, I'm going to do 50 times 300. 50 times 300. The good news is me and you both know what 5 times 3 is. 5 times 3 is 15, plus the 2 is 17. Notice, I have nothing left to multiply by, so I have to write the 17 directly down here. All right, and I'm going to mark that out. So I did 50 times 7, 50 times 40, and 50 times 300. And look at that big number I've got. I am not done yet, though. All right, and I probably know some of y'all are like dying to scream out, you have to add it, you have to add it. And if you are, you're exactly correct. We do need to add to get our final product. So I'm going to put an addition symbol here. Let me see if I can draw. Oh, that's not a bad line. So here we go. A lot of times students will go too fast on the adding part. Don't go too fast here. Slow down. Let's get it correct. Here we go. Add the ones. 2 plus 0, that's 2. 8 plus 5 is 13. Need to carry and regroup. Oh, that's a small one. Let's see if I can get it a little bit better. Oh, there we go. All right, the hundreds place value, that's 4. The thousands column, that's 9. And in the ten thousands, that is going to be 1. So it looks like our final answer is going to be 19,432. That's a big number. I want you to take a look at this. Look at this video. Watch it again. See where you're making a mistake at. See where something doesn't make sense. Ask questions. Watch it again. But really, the big thing is be okay with struggling right now. Be okay with making mistakes. Use those mistakes. Help yourself get better. All right. I'm going to be dropping another video. You can click on the link. It'll show you some more practice problems so you can get in the groove of it a little bit more. Thanks for watching this video. Click subscribe. Mr. C is out.